Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning, April the 14th. Looks like it's about 11, 10 a.m. That's Central Standard Time. So for those of you on the East Coast, it's already after lunch. It is afternoon out there. I hope you guys are doing good today. I'm just going to hang out for a little bit, drink a cup of coffee with you, and just kind of chat for a minute. Um, For the next couple of seconds, I'm going to uh, share this. So if uh, you would like to share it as well, I'd just love to have as many folks join us for a little while this morning as we can. We won't be long. Um, We're going to be very brief. There we go. That's what I want. And uh, I can hit that share button right quick. I'm going to put it over on our group page. And then I'm going to share it to my personal page. So I would really encourage you to uh, put it out there on your personal page that way we can uh, kind of meet some of your friends as well and uh, when you when you get in here when you when you hop on go ahead and say hello let me know uh, who's watching and uh, let me know where you're watching from we have friends from uh, all over uh, all over the country that uh, that hop in and watch us from time to time and uh, I'm so thankful I'm so blessed and uh, uh, I just uh, encourage you to uh, tell others so that uh, you can join us uh, as we you know, continue uh, our sharing of the gospel here online. Almost done. Almost done. Hey, we got some folks definitely pop- popping in this morning. Uh, like I said, uh, when you get here, say hello. Let me know who is where. Let me know uh, uh, who's hanging out with me this morning. Uh, it is time for a, a seriously a good cup of coffee. Well, hey, you see this, okay? I'm distinctly an LSU fan, and I'm very excited for college football to get back and play. So, uh, as uh, as uh, you uh, hop on here, grab a cup of coffee, grab your Bible. We're gonna we're gonna read some scripture here in just a minute. As I said, I am almost there. It just takes a little bit to get this thing shared to different places. Yeah, there we go. We'll do that. We're going to click to expand. and Yeah, there we go. Hey, we are almost there. Hi, Didi. Good morning. How are you, Didi? I'm so glad that you are on this morning. And uh, hello from the great metropolis of, of Palestine. So glad that you are here today. Hey, like I said, we're just, uh, folks, we're just going to hang out a little bit this morning, uh, see how you're doing. Uh, go ahead and share with me. How's your day going? How's your week been? Um, uh, you know, the, the big Easter weekend is over. You know, we're trying to, you know, get settled back into a work week. Um, th- this crazy weather though, right? Um, you know, tornadoes, uh, you know, the temperatures near 80. And then this morning it was cold as the Dickens, uh, snow and mountain home. And it's just crazy. So, uh, uh, just, uh, just like I said, want to hang out for a minute. Uh, when you get here, hey, say hello. I have no idea who all's watching this morning. So, uh, you know, say hello and uh, uh, let me know where you're watching from, just like our friend Dee Dee did. Uh, I'm going to put something on here as well. I'm going to share a link that uh, if you would, this is a, just, it, it's our guest card, Okay. And uh, what we would like to do is to just get uh, just get some information from our friends who are watching that are not uh, normally part of our uh, our Ridgewood family. Uh, that is our, our guest card, and I would just uh, encourage you uh, to 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 uh, you know hop over there, fill that out. Hey, it's no, yeah, it's no big deal. We just want to say hello to you. Uh, uh, Looks like I have Lorraine Hardrick. Uh, good morning, Miss Lorraine. So glad that you were here. That's uh, Miss Lolo. So glad to see you, Ladybug. I, I hope you're doing safe and you're doing well during this uh, unique time uh, in our country. So it's good to see you. Glad you are hopping on. Uh, again, anybody that, uh, that that would like to, you can fill out our guest card. Uh, please uh, drop in. Let me say, uh, you know, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, each day uh, here on our Ridgewood page, if you notice, I share uh, Bible verses, uh, just a text. And, uh, you know, last week with it being Holy Week, uh, I shared distinct passages that led up uh, each day as to what took place each day through Holy Week. Um, I had started prior to last week uh, sharing the verses in the Gospel of John, and so today we are going to uh, restart that 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 journey. We are now in chapter two 
And uh, uh, we are going to journey uh, through the book of John, you know, just bite by bite each day. And so I'll be posting that early in the morning. I believe it, it posts at 6 a.m. So if you get a chance, you know, I just want to encourage you to uh, use that. Some of your quiet time, as uh, you know, some of your prayer time. Be sure that you pray through that, and we're going to read that today. Uh, just you know, like I said, just going to hang out with the preacher for a little bit this morning. Grab a cup of coffee. Um, had you know quite a bit of things going on here at the church yesterday. Get, did some things today. We are mailing out the kids ministry packets to all of our parents that have children in our church. They get packets each week so that uh, they are not missing out on anything. They still get their Bible story, their activities, their crafts, and uh, uh, that is all today. Uh, looks like my buddy Marty Wages is hopping in. Good to see you, my brother. Uh, I hope you had a a good day yesterday. And uh, uh, I hope that uh, all is well over in the grand metropolis of Wheatley, Arkansas. So glad to see you, uh, Marty, hopping in. Anything I can do for you, brother, just uh, just give me a quick shout. I'd love to love to help you out here. Uh, if you uh, also want to hear some additional online preaching, uh, Wheatley Baptist Church broadcasts their services, and that you can go back and catch them on the rewind. Uh, I would encourage you to do that as well. All right, we definitely got some folks coming in, and uh, some some folks pop, you know, popping off, and uh, 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 like I said, we're just hey, this is just as relaxed as casual as it can be, uh, you know, just time to grab a good cup of coffee, say hello, uh, and how's your day? That's uh, that's really what I'm here for. Um, tonight, uh, for our Ridgewood folks, we, tonight is our Zoom. Uh, virtual Sunday school class, so you don't want to forget about that um, on our group page, on our private group pages, where the link will be for all of our Ridgewood family. And then tomorrow night, uh, folks, hey, do, do not forget it's six thirty tomorrow night, right here, same bat time, same you know, uh, bat station at six thirty. Uh, it will be time for our Wednesday uh, Bible study. So I definitely want to encourage you to pencil that in on your calendars and uh, join me as we are diving in and uh, plowing through the book of Exodus. So I am uh, uh, enjoying that. I, I've, I've always loved the book of Exodus. I've talked through it extensively one time. And we're just kind of, uh, uh, you know, just hitting some of the high points right now. And uh, I'm enjoying it uh, to, to tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night. We may actually cross the Red Sea tomorrow night. So you just never know where uh, scriptures are going to take us. Uh, Marty, appreciate all you do for your flock. Oh, Marty, man, I'm so humble for that. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Uh, and same for you, buddy. Same for you over there in uh, in your community. Great, great job. Very much, uh, very much appreciated uh, for what you do. Okay, hey, we're going to read. I'm in John chapter 2. I'll just give you a couple seconds. Grab your Bibles. I really would encourage you to follow along with me uh, these days as we uh, I just kind of walk through Scripture. You know, like I said, this is nothing fancy, nothing formal. Um, we're just going to read some Scripture. And I love the book of John. Uh, it's one of my favorite books in all of, the, of uh, Scripture. But uh, one of the reasons is I enjoy the writer. I enjoy the the writing style of John. Uh, it's very personal. Um, you, you can tell there's just a lot of passion, a, a lot of uh, a personality that comes screaming uh, in, in his writings. And uh, we know that he was you know that disciple that was the closest to, to Jesus. And, and so uh, everything that you see, everything that you read in the Gospel of John is his own personal eyewitness account as to what he saw and what he heard. And so uh, if you've never read the book of John, I strongly would encourage you to do that. Uh, hey, folks, we still got a lot of people uh, beginning to come in. So as you are, are, are logging in, hey, say hello to us. Let us know you're here and let us know where you're watching from. I, I love to kind of keep a, a small attendance and and uh, uh, the, the reach as to how far we're, we're reaching out here. And uh, as I have posted there at the very top of your comments, that is a guest card. And uh, I would just love for you to fill that out for us so that we can just kind of say hello to you on a more personal basis and uh, just get to know you. Uh, if you are uh, in the St. Francis area and do not have a church home, I would encourage you to uh, continue to hang out with us. Uh, here at Ridgewood, and uh, as soon as we can uh, come back inside the building, we'd love for you to join us on a regular basis. Uh, but uh, also, we just want to let you know that uh, even if you're not here uh, in driving distance of St. Francis County, that we will continue to broadcast our services live just for you so that you can stay in touch and that you can continue to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to read. This is John chapter 2. 
And we're going to be beginning at verse 1. I think uh, today's readings is uh, verses 1 through 12, I believe. Uh, in a very familiar passage of Scripture. John writes this, verse 1, chapter 2. He says, On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and his disciples were invited to the wedding, and when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. And his mother said to the servants, Whatever he says to you, do it. Now there were there six water pots of stone, according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. You know, can we just be real honest with you? That's big, massive water pots. We're talking each one of these bad boys that contained somewhere between 20 and 30 gallons of liquid. So that, that's massive. And so there were six of those. And Jesus you know, said to the, to the servants, he said, fill the water pots with water, and they filled them to the brim. And he said to them, Draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. And they took it. And when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it had came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom. And he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine. And when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, you have kept the good wine until now. Verse 11, This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, he went down to Capernaum, he, his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they did not stay there many days. That's John chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Uh, tomorrow we'll pick that up at verse thirteen. You know, just uh, just you know, kind of something to, to think about as we look at uh, uh, as we look at that, that passage of scripture. Um, you know, first thing is that is the very first uh, recorded miracle that uh, we have of Jesus when he turned the water into wine. Uh, so if you're uh, you know new to scripture and you're you're learning, uh, let me just share with you that that is the first of many that you will see throughout scripture. But the very first miracle of Jesus was the turning of water into wine, and we also know that this took place at a celebration. It was kind of at a party, as we might uh, want to say. And so let me just uh, let me just say right now that. Uh, the image of Jesus Christ being an old fuddy-duddy and, and really wanting to kind of keep his thumb down on us, that's not true. Jesus loved life. He loved laughter. And he loved being around others okay that uh, you know that were also in celebration and so let's understand that Jesus was not the uh, you know the party pooper okay he loved fun he loved a good time he loved to have a smile on his face and so uh, uh, I just want you to see that that Jesus okay um, powerful man powerful man but please understand one thing he loves you more than you will ever realize he loves you more than I could ever comprehend. And, you know, for me, this is just on a personal basis. For somebody to love me like that, guys, i just be honest with you, I, I don't get it. I just don't get it. So uh, uh, I'm very humble uh, because of what he done. And, and uh, you know, we just celebrated that this weekend, and, and uh, we remember that resurrection because if it wasn't for the resurrection, guys, nothing would be worth living. That's uh, the, only, the only person in history. Uh, that we know of um, can be proven, you know, that, that uh, literally ascended back to the Father, that rose from the dead and rose and came back to the Father. Uh, that's what sets him apart. That's what makes God, God. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed just kind of spending some time with me. Uh, you know, like I said, just, uh, you know, enjoying a good cup of coffee this morning, uh, getting some things done here at the office with Miss Gloria. And uh, I've got to get back to it. I see uh, Miss Judy Davis is on. My buddy Dylan Jonesboro's in. Uh, glad to see you, D. Uh, Miss Denny is in. Hi, Miss Denny. So glad that you were here. Um, and if, if you're here, if you're not uh, part of our regular Ridgewood uh, 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 folks, uh, hey, we just want to say hello to you. And that uh, that uh, pinned card that's right there at the top of the, the the comments is going to take you to a very simple form that you'll fill out your name, your phone, your email, 
And uh, if you've if you've made a decision for Christ and you've never shared that decision, we'd love to have that uh, as a record. So uh, uh, get over there and fill out. We, we're beginning to have our folks from out of town and out of state begin to fill those out. And it's just a way for us to personally say hello and uh, how much we care about you and how much we thank you for uh, hanging out with us online. Don't forget tonight, if you're uh, a, a, a Ridgewood fan, a Ridgewood folk, it's Virtual Sunday School with Brother Larry. That's tonight at 7. That link will post a little beforehand so you can get in. And I uh, uh, definitely want you in. And Brother Larry will be teaching that. And then tomorrow night right here, 630. I cannot wait to dive back into Exodus. So uh, I just want to be, be, be there with you. If you need anything, be sure to call the church office. I'd love to hang out with you. And uh, I'm working on a couple more things to share with you. Uh, I've tried this morning and uh, all to no avail. So uh, um, I'm definitely going to scratch that plan and move on to something else. Uh, in the meantime, I am out of here. I love you guys. It is Tuesday morning. Looks like it's about 11.26. It is a brisk morning in the eastern Arkansas. Here in the Delta, uh, wherever you are, may you be blessed. May you be safe. And may God speak to you in a very fresh and powerful way today. I'm out of here. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.